This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Consumers, farmers, and anyone else interested in ag business is invited to an annual event. The University of Missouri's Greenlee Memorial Research Center Outside Novelty is holding its 37th annual field day. To learn more about the event, we have Dana Harder here this morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. So first of all, when is the event taking place? So the event's taking place tomorrow morning. It runs from 7 to noon. Okay. We have breakfast sponsored by FCS Financial Out of Macon. Trails will start from 8 to noon. Okay. And we have three kind of tour themes. We have the crops tour, we have a beef tour, and we have a pest management tour. And on each one of those tours, you'll go out to a field, you'll get a brief summary of the research results, and there's about three stops lasting about 15 minutes on each tour. So if you get there early, you can see all the research that's going on. We have a lot of people from campus coming in, uh, showing their work and some of the work that's being done there at Nolan, Missouri at the Greenleaf Research Center. All right, so kind of just explain to those who've never attended, why is it important to hold this every year? Obviously, this is your 37th year you're doing it. What is the purpose of this event? So the purpose of the event is to get uh, our research results out there all in a concise format. So farmers can come out, socialize with different ag business people, uh, other farmers in Northeast Missouri, and interact with the University of Missouri, the, the researchers that that's they're coming up and presenting the results. So it's just a good format to get... Uh, kind of highlights that's going on in the research center. All right, and you will have a guest speaker on hand tomorrow. Let's talk about that. Who will that be? So we're, we're lucky to have uh, Director of Agriculture Richard Fordyce. He'll be coming in and giving our keynote speech uh, during the noon hour. Also during that, we have a free lunch that's sponsored by Missouri Soybean Programs and Missouri Corn Growers. So uh, come on out. I mean, free food, uh, education, it's a good, good opportunity there. Right. And you had mentioned that there's going to be tours and stuff. Do you have to come for the whole event, or can you come and go as you please? Do you have to be there by 8 o'clock? No. Okay. No, you don't. So, you know, we have a constant cycle of wagons going out to the tours. You can pick which ones you want to go on. Um, so you will be stuck for three tours, you know, for 45 minutes. So you can see what you want to Mm -hmm. But you want to go and visit, and you don't have to stay for the whole thing, so you can kind of come and go as you want. All right, and the turnout. Are you expecting a big turnout for tomorrow? Yeah, so our, our turnout has been growing over the years. So we're up over 300 people, and so we're hoping we can get close to 400 this year. So it's a, it's a good turnout for the event. All right, does it cost anything? Is it free? No, absolutely free, okay. so you can't beat that. All right, do the attendees need to bring anything, or is everything provided for them? Everything's provided, and when you come, you will get a field day book. So it's kind of a write-up of all the summers of the research that's been taking place at the center. So it's more research results than what you will see at the tour. So that will be a take-home uh, book for them as well. All right, now we know that they'll have presentations, like you said, at each site. Will there be a Q&A section of the, of the time if they have any questions they can ask, or how is that going to play out? So, you know, typically on each stop we allow for five minutes of questions. Okay. And, you know, the, the, in past years, the participation and the questions have been uh, really good from the farmers. So it's really interactive uh, with the presenters and, and the audience as well. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add? No, just come on out. And in the afternoon, we will be taking a kind of a walkthrough tour. It's kind of if you want to go uh, to our drainage and sub-irrigation site, which is about 15 miles southeast of the main center. So that okay. will be going on after lunch. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com. We'll also link up uh, the research center's information and a map to how to get there in case uh, anybody is not familiar with where Novelty is located. Thank you again, Dana, for coming on. Oh, thank you for having me. And we'll be right back.